What? What in the butt? Hey, little peach. Hi, pumpkin. Do you have a Halloween fun fact for us today? Fuck. Nope, sure don't. So welcome to day 21. 21. Uh, while Peach is looking that up, welcome. Uh, if this is the first time you're watching a video, we're coming in at day 21. It's kind of weird. But uh, go back and watch all of our other videos. All of them. Every single one of them. Not just these. We're doing a Halloween alcoholic advent calendar. We normally do it for Christmas. Uh, past couple of years, um, but this year we decided to change it up a little bit. We're doing uh, one for Halloween, and then for Christmas we're doing something a little different. And uh, so, yeah, 31 different bottles of alcohol that we've never had before. We, you know, acquire them throughout the year up until when we needed them, and we made sure to pick ones that we hadn't had. And then Peach made this pumpkin patch. And uh, drew the Linus and made the patch and wrapped up all the, the bottles in the uh, tubes and uh, up like pumpkins. And you, you randomly pick one out of the patch and then you uh, you drink it. So that's what we're doing. Uh, did you find a fun fact or are you still looking? Yeah. Um, so this is like a two-parter. And oh. I can make it a three-parter because it's all about the fear of things. Okay. Okay. It's a Halloween fun fact because there is an actual name for the being afraid of Halloween. It's called <laughs> Sawinophobia or Samhainophobia. Why would you be afraid of Halloween? But here's the second part. There's a term for being afraid of candy and it's fantastic. The fear of being afraid of candy is called nonsense. It sure is nonsense. <laughs> I think somebody just made that up. I don't think it's like a real thing. I think it's just somebody was like, oh, that's nonsense. Because it is to be afraid of candy. I don't even know why you'd be afraid of Halloween. It doesn't make any sense. Um, whatever. You know what a Halloween fun fact is not? Huh. Towns need to keep your fucking mitts off oh, no. of Halloween. It's caramelophobia. That's the fear of candy. That doesn't make any sense either. Caramelophobia. Somebody's just making shit up. It doesn't... <laughs> Why am I scared of candy? Huh. I don't know. Because you're broken? Um, towns need to, to fuck off when it comes to Halloween. You need to just let Halloween be Halloween on the day, the 31st, and you let people go out and trick-or-treat whenever, and whenever lights shut off. You know, uh, my one friend just said in his town, trick-or-treating takes place 2.30 to 8.30. What kind of horse shit is that? Who the fuck's home at 2.30? Now, I could see if it was like a Saturday or a Sunday. Ma not not even. even a Saturday, but maybe a Sunday. Not even. But I'm just saying like 2.30, like a lot of kids aren't even done school at 2.30. Parents are not done work to take yeah. their kids around to and even it, be home to give out candy. And in candy. this economy... You need two people to be working in a family. It's absolute horseshit to expect people to be home and to do that. Like, and then by the time most people get home, what are you doing? We're also going to do a taste test some of these. You, only, the you only get like a good hour or so of trick-or-treating. Like what, over by 8.30? No. That's nonsense. <laughs> um, that's, that's what I call... Um, the dislike of town towns and 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 such uh, making Halloween stupid is nonsense. One, two, three, or four. Three. Did you have something four later? Yeah, yeah, because it's one, two, three, and four. So mm -hmm. candy corn. So we're gonna try the shot, and then we'll do a candy corn tipsy pop or tootsie roll. We got these. Do you really think you want to do it like that? Yeah, because I don't want the Tootsie Roll to but what influence. If this influences that. I think, depending on what it is, this might be a nice treat after that. Um, so these are Tootsie Roll Harvest Chews. They come in four flavors sweet cinnamon, caramel apple, candy corn, and pumpkin spice. Um, I honestly don't remember where we got these. Do you? 
Let me see that candy corn. They smell really good. No, I don't remember where you bought them at. Oh, uh, maybe Target? Maybe? Possible. I don't recall. Uh, Alright. So it's, pick. yeah, it's an odd night. So. It's getting pretty sparse in the patch there. We're getting close. Yeah. As we said, it's the 21st, so it's the 21st. Took 10 days until Halloween. Oh, this is heavy. Feel that. That's weighty. That I, is weighty. I know what that is. Well, I think this is the gin that Kate gave us. Oh, yeah. Yep. I don't like gin, so this is going to be awful. It is. It's the Malify Gin Con Limon. Lem Limon. I don't know. It's gin from Italy. So... Oh, I want Malfi, like the Malfi Coast. Or, so that's a lot of booze. That's a big bottle. Yeah. I think this is going to be like an overpour. Keep missing. There you go. See, when I picked that one that, I, that was big, I thought that's what I was picking. <laughs> Please send me that picture. No you way. You didn't delete it, did you? Yes. No, I didn't. You need to send it to me. It's um, 41% alcohol. So I want to say this is the heaviest hitting booze we've tried so far. Mm, it's a pretty nice bottle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Hefty. It's a oh, it's citrusy. Well, maybe that's for the limon. Limon. Maybe it's uh, con limon. So it's lemon gin, maybe. Doesn't say. Uh, mm -mm. It's imported, but then shipped out of Miami. And don't drink it while you're playing. 100% grain neutral spirits. Doesn't say like. But con limon would mean with limon. <laughs> lemon? <laughs> I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. He's going to yell at me for the face I just made. Cheers, you poo. Cheers, you fuck. Cheers to you. Happy October 21st. Hope your day was great. Do it! You do it. Do it. One, two, three. One, two, three, do it. Okay. One, two, three. And this is with Limon. But it's not good. That burns twice. I'm not a gin person, not a shop person. I'm not a this person. <sighs> Candy corn tootsie roll. Save me. Oh, that's fucking terrible. Uh, you like June. Oh my god. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Candy corn's mixing with the gin a little bit. That's not the best. No, it's all right. All right. Maybe if you put some of those in the gin and let it dissolve. You got like candy corn whiskey. Um, that was pretty good. I enjoyed it. So we have three more of those. So come back tomorrow and we'll try another flavor. Mm. Um, and then actually we can do booze and candy pairings for a couple more days because we have, um, Sour Patch Apples to try as well. Mm -hmm. I think there are three mm -hmm. flavors of them. So, like I said, it's the 21st. Um, we're going to be putting out a video soon of a lot of cool decorated houses that we visited in the daytime and the nighttime. we got to finish that up, though. There's a couple more places we got to hit. Um, what? What? Just um, in Friends. <laughs> <laughs>
the nights are the hardest, and then the morning comes, and they're just as hard. It's when Rachel is, they're trying to stall Monica from getting ready, whatever. Cool story, bro. You asked. I didn't really ask. You did. You said, what's so funny? I don't, I don't think I said that, but I just said what. Yeah, what, what? I think that's something else. What do you think about now? <laughs> what? What in the butt? <laughs> that's from Tosh. <laughs> We're keeping all this in. <laughs> Every single fucking thing. Um, I might just cut that part, the what, what, <laughs> and then put that at the very beginning as it's just opening it with that. <laughs> yeah, you're going to see that. So, like, you're not even, you're going to see it first. You're going to know. <laughs> and now I think about something else. <laughs> Jesus Christ, stop this thinking. This is my brain and ADHD. Mm. Or my autism, whatever. Just the last minute now plans to go to the drive-in on Friday. Mm -hmm. We're going to go see The Substance and uh, Terrifier 3. Which I think is very cool because I wanted to see The Substance and I've seen Terrifier 3, but it would be good to see it again and on a drive-in screen for both of them. That's just like... That's a pretty good double feature, and uh, I don't think a lot of drive-ins are doing that double feature if showing any of the, either one of those movies at all. Yeah, big shout out to Shankweilers yeah. in Orfield, Pennsylvania. The Orfield. 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 I thought it was Orville. Nope, Orfield. Orfield, Pennsylvania. They are the only drive-in in our area, and I say area, and that's like a very broad area like the tri-state area that is open year round and we have gone and watched movies while there's been snow on the ground and it was snowing and yeah. it was awesome it is awesome it's awesome to have that opportunity or that ability to be able to batteries are done yes to go to a drive-in in the fall in the winter i know um some people don't have that luxury and it's cool that we have a place like that that's close by that you know it didn't always used to be that way. Uh, the new owners took over um, a few years ago, mm -hmm. and they have made it open year-round. Before yeah. that, it was not open year-round. Mm -hmm. But uh, I like what they've been doing with it. They've been showing a lot of cool movies. Uh, they're really doing a lot of fun stuff. They have different theme nights. They've got, you know, they'll, they'll have... Um, I don't know, every once in a while they do have like a brewery there on site, like serving stuff. We haven't been there for one of those events. We were supposed to for Christmas. Mm -hmm. There was, uh, they were having somebody there. I forget who it was. But. And they've had a winery and I think a spirits yes. uh, person out there too. And they also have like, um, I want to say they've had a bakery. Yeah, and like there. a place that yeah. like had ice cream sandwiches. Yeah. Like they do a lot of work with like the local people. And they just do a lot of good stuff. And I'm really mm -hmm. excited about this double feature. I'm really happy that they're deciding to show it. Especially, I mean, the substance, that's not being shown in a lot of places. And it was had a very small release. And so the same with Terrifier. Because Terrifier is not rated. A lot of theaters will not show a, a non-rated movie. Um, so that's probably even in less theaters. The Terrifier 3 beat out the Joker. Yeah, it did. And that was, again, not probably not being shown in anywhere near the amount of same number of theaters mm -hmm. and still beating it. Um, that's kind of a, a, a good feat there. Uh, again, because a lot of places won't show an unrated movie. So I think it's just, it's pretty awesome. I don't think any of the other driving theaters around here, no offense to them, would show either one of these movies. I mm -hmm. can't, couldn't really see them doing it. Maybe the Mahoning, but they don't show new movies. Mm -hmm. they, you know, if they were like, you know, maybe 10 years from now, they might show these movies. Um, but uh, they only show like classic retro stuff. But I don't think any of the, if, if they're even still open at this point, some theaters have already closed for the season. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which ones, but... Um, I'm just, it's, it's a cool double feature, especially mm -hmm. to see a movie that I, you know, want to see again and one that I haven't seen yet and I wanted to see because yeah. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. Jeff saw Terrifier 3. I did not go with him to see that. So, and it, seeing movies, especially scary movies in the theater used to be like one of my favorite things, but 
recently with my anxiety, going to see them in the movie theater just is a bit too much. So getting to watch it in the comforts of our car is better. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm going to make it nice and comfy. I'm going to have blankets and pillows and mm-hmm. it's going to be nice and clean. I'm going to get my car cleaned. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be nice and, and cozy. Yeah. So that's one of our fall activities we can check off of our list. What was go, that? Go see a scary movie at the drive-in. Uh, well, I mean, technically, did we do that? Already at the new drive-ins? I mean, we've already done that. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See ya.